The 2018 class of Wings to Fly program has received their comprehensive secondary school scholarships. They received their letters from the Education Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Matiangi at a commissioning ceremony held at Kenyatta University in Nairobi. You may doubt me because of my short hair and I won't blame you. You may doubt me because of my small stature, and I won't blame you. For that's how my neighbors doubted. I will join Karema Girls High School when I scored 401 marks in the primary exams. I did not blame them. For my mother, Amamanguo, had a bigger responsibility of catering for my other eight siblings rather than educating me. Do you know what? Wings to Fly never doubted my ability. Though I was in tatters, though I had no shoes, in me they saw the potential. They gave me shoes, they gave me fees, they gave me uniform to join Karema Girls Nyandarua. In Karema, I never saw myself disadvantaged because I had the wings to fly. When Dr. Matiangi announced an additional A from the previous 141, I knew that was mine. I had worked for it. True to my belief, I was among the 142 Matiangi is. Today, I can stand before you in front of a global audience, rightfully proud of Equity Bank Group, for they gave me the wings. They gave me wings to fly, wings that gave me confidence as you see me today. Six years ago, when I was in class seven, my parents separated. My father, the bedrock of hope, went to live away, leaving us in the poverty of Huruma. I scavenged for food as my mother sold samosa in order to cater for the rent of our shanty in Huruma slums. Last year, I did my KCSE like a man, and I was among the 142 strong men and women who got a Matiangi A. To the people of Huruma and Madare, computer engineer Savin Otieno is soon coming back in order to sponsor other needy students, for I am a witness that we all have the potential given the opportunity, the way I was given the opportunity by wings to fly. Dr. Peter Munga, my brother James Mwangi, the Equity Foundation, MasterCard, and all of you good people. You have done your part and you continue to do your part. It is also necessary for all of us to do our part. We have enough resources in our country to support our children individually and collectively. The 2017 cohort brings the total number of scholars in the Wings to Fly program to 15,168.
CS Matiangi urged the scholars to maximize on the opportunity given to them to improve their lives. Time is here for us to develop very strong value systems. And we want you to understand this. First of all, you are all our children and a blessing to us from God. And we love you and we will take care of you. But we are responsible enough to remind you that there's only one way in this life and let us live that way, which is honest hard work. Because we do not want to socialize you to believe that you can get grades that do not belong to you. And by the way, let me tell you, exams only measure the abilities and then enable us to understand what we can do. There is a place in our country, there is a place in this life for everyone. This financial year we have 1.2 billion set aside for loans for our children who are going to technical training institutions and mid-level colleges. Cabinet Secretary for Water and Irrigation Eugene Wamalwa urged the scholars to use the wings of education to fly to all corners of the world. This country has a history in athletics when they are given the track to run the farthest and the fastest but also it has a history that when given academic wings to fly to go the farthest again and to fly the fastest when we had the uh, kennedy administration in the u.s airlift kenyans to the u.s we had many kenyans who were given wings to fly at that time and indeed amongst them was obama senior who gave America a senator for Chicago, who became the first black American president. Given the wings you have been given today, you can fly to the four corners of the earth, you can become anything you want to be. May you use them properly. Equity Group Foundation Executive Chairman Dr. James Mwangi said the success of the Wings to Fly program has encouraged other organizations to also start offering education scholarships to needy students. After the Wings to Fly program have taken up the kids, the governors have come up and picked majority of the other kids. Our members of parliament have come with the CDF assistance taken the rest of the kids. And we have also been more encouraged that the corporate sector, led by the banking industry, the oil industry, have also responded. And each of uh, them have set a program similar to this to address the price. We applaud the effort of the government to provide free secondary education. It's not lost to us that all the uh, kids who had applied this program and we did not provide them with a scholarship, they are able now to go to a free day secondary school and continue with their education. Dr. Mwangi said all scholars deserve quality education. The kids we have here, as we saw, they went to the lower of the lowest schools in this country. The schools, as we saw in rural areas in slums. But here they are. They made it. the objective of the country under Vision 2030 is to be globally competitive. We can be only as competitive as the quality of our education system and the capacity of our people. The quality of our people is determined by the education system of our country. Education reforms are focusing this country to provide relevant education for today, relevant education for tomorrow, and an education that ingrains in the mind analytic capability, problem-solving capability, because the future is about creating jobs in innovation, it's about creating jobs in entrepreneurship. And the skills required there are problem-solving, the analytical skills, they are critical skills, so that we can really solve the challenges of the future. Equity Group Chairman Dr. Peter Monga expressed his hope in the success of the scholars based on the transition rate witnessed over the years since inception of Wings to Fly scholarship program. Education is the surest way of eradicating poverty in a family and is the surest way of transforming a society. Mr. Minister, let me also congratulate you on your successful introduction of the reforms. What the reforms are about is to make those who gain knowledge in schools, in colleges, and other places have the capacity to apply that knowledge and not just have the knowledge without being able to apply it. 
May I also thank Lawyer Lita, who is the chairman of MasterCard, because it's through their effort that we have been able to come that far. In a speech presented by Ivy Mwai, the president of the MasterCard Foundation, Rita Roy, told the scholars to define their purpose and uphold values that will keep them grounded in pursuit of their purpose. Be curious about the world. Be open to new opportunities. There are big challenges in Kenya and across Africa that you can use your education to address, like housing, food security, health and climate change. We live in a time when we have the capacity to improve the lives of millions of people, to do good for humanity at a scale previously unimaginable. Through your education, you will have the skills and the knowledge to do just that. Scholars, you are here because of your hard work. But remember, we never travel alone on our journey. You are here also because of the support of others, family, friends, members of your community, people who have sacrificed for you. All of us are the product of the people who loved us. Kenyan-born Australian Senator Lucy Geshohi encouraged the scholars to give the best in their studies, as no past circumstance can hold back personal intention to succeed. Your dreams are valid. I've listened to your story. I was in your shoes. When I was going to Helera Primary School, we shared a bed with eight of my sisters. That bed was made of tires. No circumstances is beyond your own intention. Ladies and gentlemen, young men and women, stick to true who you are. Stick to being yourself. Simplify your life because you are enough. The Wings to Fly initiative offers comprehensive secondary school scholarships to academically gifted children from needy backgrounds. It covers tuition fees, books, school uniform, accommodation, pocket money, transport costs, among other expenses. Makot Thushi Alili from Tukana County next. Tele Wajiko Musebe from Uasingishu next. Asante, 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 Asante. Asante.